Kelly wants to show us the Vera closet. So here we are, and it's been a while since I've updated the storage. Down on the bottom, you see a bunch of dust bags and whatnot. That's all mostly leather Vera bags. Um, then above that, you have a cluster of zip IDs and lanyards, and then bag charms and little pouches and things hanging from the bar. Behind that, you have all the small wallets and little different items things like that, coin purses, etc. In the corner, there's tech pouches. Up above that, we have um, most of, but not all of the wallets um, from Vera. Down the middle, there's more wristlets and wallets of Vera and other brands. Up on top, more leather bags in their dust covers. And then the other side of the closet is, you can kind of see my pile of stuff from the right, there is a whole bunch of like all-in-ones and wristlets and things up here. There's a bunch of holes because a bunch of it's on the table right now for a, another video. Then we have small purses and like mini hipsters and um, convertible crossbody, those kind of things, the little bags. Then we've got midtown hipsters, light crossbody, small bags like that, and then some satchels, midtown and cotton, like 100 handbag, that type of bag. Beneath that, we have like triple zip hipsters and that size of bag and also um, mail bags, that, that size. We've got Carson shoulder bags and on the goes and go ahead from the factory outlet, that style and size of shoulder bag. Down below that, we have a variety of Glenna's and bowlers and such, and then hipsters and yeah, that's pretty much all varieties of hipsters there. And then down below, we have a lot more of the shoulder bags and purses. More Glenas, lots of Glenas actually down there. And some hobos and some other stuff down on the bottom. So that's pretty much the Vera closet. Down on the very bottom of the closet, those are some super amazing blankets that are in plastic bags. Lack of a better place to store them for now. So let's check out the room. Okay, so this is the room. We'll call it the bag room. This used to be a guest room slash craft room. Then it became the Vera room. And now I honestly have to just say it's the bag room because even though it's predominantly Vera, there's a heck of a lot of lug and other brands mixed in here as well. Please disregard the extra light that is parked on the far side of the room because that is only in here temporarily so that I can light up the corner so we can see the things over there. So this is the entry walking into literally the bag room. There is obviously still a lot of other things in here besides bags but so I'll walk in and I'll kind of turn to my left. There's the closet. So let me step back over here try not to get shadowy. So on the inside of the door I have one shoe rack hanging on the door and that's all Vera Bradley accessory type things and so is the other one. They're grouped by pattern mostly anyways not entirely but there you go. So and what's in those slots is just jam-packed of different things like cosmetics of various sizes, ditty bags, um, pouches, honor roll cases, all that sort of stuff. So all different variety of things all throughout. And then in the closet to the right of that um, is there's some shelving behind there but what's visible you can see Vera Bradley Harry Potter on top. Beneath that you have these um, Hadley backpacks. Below that you have small backpacks. So these are all purse backpacks and then some other variety of purse backpacks below that. Behind there, you also have some filing and other things. The left side of the closet that's closed, that's all just like shelving for scrapbooking and some gift wrapping and that sort of thing. Up above the closet, you have some Vera Bradley bedding. There's quilts and comforters and shams. Uh, those are all still in wrapper, never been opened because I have dogs and, well, I have a dog still. And the dog sleeps on the bed, so I don't want to get hair all over my pretty blankets. So for now... They haven't been used yet. 
I am going to soon put one of them on the guest bed in the other room, but I just haven't taken the plunge. The comforter on there is nice. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see. So now coming over here to this side, um, this shelf faces the door. What we have from top to bottom, you can see up here, you have all the eyeglasses. Well, I don't have a lot of eyeglasses. So sunglasses, sunglass cases, readers, readers cases, and yeah, so the hard case, soft case, different ones. On this rack facing the door, you have the Loungefly Disney backpacks, including a Harry Potter on the bottom right. And then below that, we have some bins. Between the bins on the top shelf there, that's my tablet, sleeves, laptop organizers, ta tablet tamer organizer, that kind of stuff. And this one on the right is just random totes and bags and shopping bags and things. Down below those two, um, that whole bottom row is things that are either set to be gifts or to sell as is the upper left. So kind of those three bins are, um, not all Vera, but there's some stuff in there for other things that is not to keep pile, but all new tags, stuff to figure out. Then over there in the far corner, it's kind of tucked in there behind the shelves in that back shelf is basically the log shelf. So the three blue bags up on top, those are storage bags. One of them is Vera blankets that are just being stored for me, but the rest of it is donations for the Vera Bradley auction for cyclic vomiting syndrome. So that is where I'm keeping those while I wait for the auction, which will start on March 5th. So if you're interested in donating to that, um, thank you in advance for your consideration. Down then we have the lug shelf, which on the top shelf, it starts with the can-can, the skipper. We've got a couple of scoops, some wings, the shimmy. We've got the ranger, compass, promenade, couple scuttles, uh, double dutch, uh, slider, and the new camper SE, and then a couple of wind jammers. Then on the next shelf down, Oh, sorry, the back corner, we have my two cuddle throws. I've got the purple, water purple, bloom black, and then there's one in a pouch underneath there for the holiday one. Then we've got four mini orbits, four canters, a couple of zip liners, four mini puddle jumpers, two or twos, two or threes. We've got three via twos, one via one, two hatchback threes, a sprout and a puddle jumper backpack. Then these two cases here, these storage bins, they are jam packed with smaller accessories. You can see in this one here, that's where like the roundabouts, coops, round trips, and wallets of all varieties are. The coin pouches, like small accessory stuff is all in there. On the other side as well. So things like the double decker, the trolleys, the canoe, the all that stuff. All those two things are jammed. In between the two, you have my two trolley crossbodies and a boomerang in black right there. The next shelf down, you have another non-lug bed um, thing. It's all Vera blankets in there. That's just ran out of space. <laughs> then these are lug travel bags. We have the Apollo on top. We've got a cartwheel and a uh, steamboat, a couple of box or twos, and then down below a whole bunch more lug accessories. So it's like the travel stuff, like the neck pillow, the chuggies, the travel blanket, the packables, the bento boxes, all of the clear view envelopes and runway envelopes and transports and stuff is all down there. The one on the right is actually just um, packaging and stuff. There's no product in there right now. The shelf to the right of it, down on the bottom, is actually a, a scrapbooking stuff in the box. It's like one of the remaining things that just hasn't been purged from this room and put in the garage. Because there's just no place out there either. <laughs> so it stays on the shelf for the moment, down with the Christmas stockings and some luggage tags and some other Vera stuff in boxes, ceramic. Then we have a lot of storage bags and laundry bags and things like that on the next shelf, including a garment bag on top. 
This shelf is all like beachy type stuff. So cooler totes, cooler backpacks, a cube cooler. It's got drawstring family totes, large family tote. But you can see it's all like sort of beachy or lake or whatever type stuff. Up on, above that you have like the Vera size totes. Mostly Vera's, but there's also like a couple of Midtown totes in there, the VBU tote, but they're all kind of Vera-like, Vera-sized. Up above that you have market totes and a doggy bed that is not yet being used. Got a ton of umbrellas right there. Down below, this is a my miscellaneous accessory pile because I have straight up run out of space in here. So I need to reorganize a bit. Then we have the four-piece cosmetics from both outlet and retail. Everything's a mix. This is accessory run over because there's not enough room um, in the two hanging racks. Up above that we have hanging travel organizers and those type of things. Big travel bags up top, a stack of beach towels. I do use beach towels by the way, but I have a closet full of non-vera ones. I'm trying to wear those out first before I break, break out the pretty ones. Over here, this is um, different kinds of travel organizers, like a couple of jewelry things, and then the zip around organizers, that type of thing. And then we've got some packing cubes and some clear things and a 311s all up there. Then the next shelf down is all weekenders, and there's a variety of lighten up, cotton, microfiber, as well as the deluxe variety, so it's a mix. And then to the right, you have some of the compact and or medium weekenders, which are like outlet version. Down below that we have grand travelers and like size bags, including get carried away totes and whatnot. And to the far side, tucked in that corner there is sitting this way. There's a bunch of messenger bags over there, like four of them. And then this is just gift wrapping stuff that's stuck there in the corner. So now let me move this light real quick so we're not staring in the face of the light and I'll turn it around to light up this side of the room now. Let's see if I could step back for you so you can see better. All right, so on the top we have Vera Bradley underbed storage bags. Those are filled with either blankets, mostly. The bottom left one there is actually more beach towels and stuff. The top shelf is almost all exclusively duffels, mostly large travel duffels. The two sitting in the middle in the front with the white band around them, those are extra large packable duffels and some of the ones on the far right row are regular duffels or medium or small so they're different sizes and there's also a sports bag up there the next shelf from left to right there's four stacks the left shelf is other totes so pretty much on this rack it's big on the left towards smaller on the right overall so on the left is more tote type purses you got some midtown small totes You've got um, Glenna totes, we've got Grand totes, just a mix of a variety of medium and large totes. The next column, you have mostly small Vera's, but there's some Mandy's, Laura's, uh, Villager's, all that kind of small to medium totes. The next row is actually travel bags, mostly Grand Cargo's and Miller bags. And looks like there's a triple compartment bag in there and a couple of expandable totes. The far right column there is pleated totes, uh, stroll around diaper bags, which I use for travel bags because they're really great for that. There's a Grand Weekender and a lay flat um, travel bag in there as well. Then the next shelf is backpacks. This is mostly the cotton shelf. So to the left, the far left, is your large essential and extra large campus, so your big cotton backpacks. The second row, starting with that red, white, and blossom on top, that is more of like the campus backpacks. And that's a variety between those two stacks. Obviously, that one right there is, um, that's actually the lay flat backpack, the brand new one in Classic Navy Performance Twill. But most of those two stacks otherwise are campus type backpacks. What I was going to say about that is, you know, Vera for a while had campus backpacks and tech backpacks and then they eventually merged it to the campus tech and now it's just called campus. So there's really four different varieties or iterations in that um, and or the essential which is the 
outlet equivalent or factory equivalent to campus. So that's a couple of mixed stacks of all of that. And then on the far right is a variety. It's um, some, like, it has the backpack baby bag in performance twill black on top. It has the slings. There's like a Disney bag down there that's not Vera or Lug or it's just a non-brand. It's Disney thing. Then down below that now on the bottom shelf is the same idea except with lighten up versions. So the far left is mostly journey backpacks. Then we have large essential in the lighten up or just grand backpacks mostly. This stack is a mixed stack as well. You can see the sports bag on top. You got um, some day trippers. You've got the back sacks. You got some other non Vera stuff in there. I can't really see behind what all's in that pile, but mixed overflow. And then the far right is also a mixed pile. You've got um, performance twill, extra large campus, a couple of big bags. You got commuter backpack. You've got some essential and other things down below some factory style but so bottoms kind of mixed up I need to re reorganize down underneath the rack you have a pair of booty slippers and two pairs of rain boots those are all unopened right now and there's actually another pair of non Vera boots down there yeah I need a step stool sometimes get around and then you can see some of like the scrapbook and that sort of stuff is stored on that one wall is now all that's left so that's kind of around the room in the storage area so now sorry about the light we're just gonna kind of look back in that corner so that's my lug shelf by the way if you're not familiar with this story I started lug what like three or four months ago and I've just gone absolutely bat crap crazy and I've just totally bought like everything my little heart desired and then some obviously there's been some great sales along the way some rewards some gifts with purchase a lot of that going on so i'm definitely looking forward to some holiday sales but seriously i cannot keep the pace but besides that i have no more room to store anything really so so that is the bag room hope you like that and i'll talk to you again soon bye for now